Greetings to everyone who are listening to this talk. Today, we are here to present our recent work on utilizing reinforcement learning to solve the problem of electric vehicle routing with optional vehicle to grid supply. Before we get into the technicalities of the algorithms used in solving this problem, I would like to briefly talk about the problem setting itself. In this work, we are taking the view of a last mile delivery fleet operator with a fleet of EVs. It is a common fact that last mile delivery is the most expensive part of the logistic and e-commerce process, often accounting for more than 50% of the overall shipping expense. Electric vehicles are a reasonable choice for this application as they offer many cost benefits that come naturally from electrification such as high fuel efficiency, minimal maintenance overhead, compliance to emission regulations, etc. The benefit of using last mile delivery EVs extend beyond the scope. In fact, they can be used to provide other services within the city ecosystem. Such multi-service operation models open alternate revenue channels for the logistics provider which can lead to further cost reduction of the last mile segment. Motivated by this observation, we explore an alternative delivery model using EVs where the scope is not, not only limited to the delivery of goods to customers but extends to the delivery of energy to the grid during its periods of peak energy demand. Due to the virtue of the onboard battery, EVs poten can potentially use the same energy to sell power back to the grid at higher tariff rates. We approach the problem of delivery of goods and delivery of energy as an electric vehicle routing problem with the goal of finding the most cost-effective routes that guarantee order fulfillment. This problem is not trivial for the following two reasons. First, the delivery demand is present at specific times, time periods and locations and therefore the supply needs to match that demand for making a successful transaction. Second, the computationally difficult VRP problem becomes even harder with the introduction of new constraints related to EVs and energy discharge. Several solutions exist for solving VRP and its various variations. They range from mixed integer linear programs or MILPs providing exact solutions to meta heuristics involving either neighborhood search, genetic algorithms, taboo search, etc. that provide near exact solutions with faster convergence. However, none of these algorithms scale to the large problem instances that involve hundreds of customers and discharging stations with multiple operational constraints in quick time with reasonable solution accuracy. To overcome these challenges, we utilize a RL-based routing algorithm that learns optimal routing policies for a multi-service operation model. In this work, our perspective is that of a fleet manager with an aim to minimize trip cost of the fleet by finding cost-effective routes which reduces the overall travel distance and vehicles used for delivery while generating revenue from energy sale to the grid. All requisite information is known a priori since the fulfillment center shares a customer order list for delivery purpose while the grid announces its peak demand periods normally a day before the requirement. We consider an operational setup where a fleet of last mile EVs leave the base depot at a given time with a starting state of charge of Q. Their target is to complete all deliveries and return to the same depot. During this delivery period, EVs could also visit a discharging station and sell power back to the grid in a time-defined manner that does not impact the delivery of customer orders. We assume that Q is sufficient to complete the delivery trip without recharging and in addition may allow V2G discharging where possible. This setup does not allow recharging halts during the trip as it would increase the vehicle idle time and subsequently the trip cost. We model our system as an undirected complete graph with three types of node, a depot node, a set of customer nodes and a set of discharging nodes. Along with these, there is a set of possible EVs at the depot which can be used for completing the delivery demands of the customers. 
on the right side you can see the parameters used to define each vehicle customer node discharging node and each edge of the graph using these inputs we derive the set of decision variables shown on the left subject to the battery level constraints of the evs and the time window constraints of the various nodes the constraints and the objective functions are defined in the optimization problem definition the objective function of the optimization problem is taken as the combined weighted cost of the total distance traveled by the evs and the number of such evs used in the inner trip minus the reward gained due to the time spent at discharging stations and selling power back to the grid this objective shown in the previous slide is subject to various constraints as shown in the slides i am not going to spend much time on these constraints as such please do refer to our paper for more details on this the optimization problem is formulated in the rl framework by defining the state action space and engineering the reward function the algorithm builds a solution by mapping vehicles to a node at every decision epoch eventually leading to an optimized route as shown in the figure our rl agent is triggered whenever a vehicle becomes free in the environment at which point we collect the states of all feasible all possible feasible assignments of vehicles to nodes after this the agent calculates a value for each feasible assignment and chooses the assignment with the highest value as its action this process continues until all possible vehicles are assigned or there are no more remaining customers to visit after the episode the rl value network is updated based on the reward it receives from the environment for all the actions it took during that episode the conditions used to determine whether a vehicle node assignment is feasible or not is shown on the bottom left the information about individual vehicle node pairs are given as input to the rl agent in our system model vehicles spend energy under two conditions first if they are traveling between two nodes and second if they are participating in discharge transactions at discharging stations these two aspects are captured by the variables b i j and z i respectively there are two supporting binary variables i depot and i cost that respectively help to capture if the vehicle has left the depot and the location of the proposed node the final variable w i u captures the wait time of a vehicle u at the proposed node i before it can start service the action a t of u of i is the vehicle node pair at decision time t it is selected either at the start of an episode when all vehicles are available or when any vehicle becomes available post completing the assigned service for each chosen vehicle node pair the reward rt of u of i u comma i is taken as the total cost of vehicle u visiting node i at time t here a positive reward is given for visiting either a customer node or a discharging station node while a negative reward is given for choosing longer route segments for assignments that lead to waiting periods at nodes and for sending new vehicles from the depot this is an overview of the rl training algorithm more details about this algorithm are available in our paper i will go to a simple example of how our rl agent determines optimal routes in the coming slides in the next couple of slides i will walk you through a simple example of how our rl agent computes optimal routes and learns from performing various episodes to generate better routes for unknown problem instances the problem instance taken in this example is shown on the upper right corner of this slide the state at system the state of the system at t equal to 0 is shown on the left there are two vehicles in the depot the feasible pairs for these vehicles are denoted by the directed edges shown in the graph the dotted line edges are used to show the edges which are possible but are infeasible from that state here the two edges are infeasible because they violate the time window constraints of their respective destination nodes 
All the feasible paths are sent through a value network as shown in the figure. The action is selected as the assignment or the feasible pair with the highest value as predicted by the value network. Here the agent selects the pair vehicle 1 customer 2 as the optimal action. The updated state of the system is shown in the lower half. Here vehicle 1 is assigned to customer 2 and customer 2 is taken out of the list of customers yet to be serviced. Again. The process of finding feasible pairs is run on this instance of the graph. Here we can see that the edge between customer 2 and customer 3 is infeasible to vehicle 1 because vehicle 1 does not have enough energy to go to customer 3 and then return to the depot. The same action selection procedure is performed and the next feasible pair selected is vehicle 2 customer 1. Since all the vehicles are assigned a node, we perform a global update to the environment and collect a reward for each assignment. This slide completes a simple example from the previous slide. At each iteration, the feasible pairs are obtained from the current instance of the graph and a value is assigned to each of these feasible pairs. The action at that step is the feasible pair with the highest value. This process is repeated until we have visited all the customer nodes or there are no more feasible pairs for a vehicle at which time it returns to the depot. After the end of the episode, these are the routes assigned for each vehicle in the depot. After the end of an episode, we update the value network by reducing the MSE loss between the actual value of an assignment, which is the reward given for an assignment by the environment and the predicted value from the value network. As the training progresses, the value network learns the optimal value for an assignment in any given problem instance. The architecture details and hyperparameters used in learning and testing are shown in this slide. Please refer to the paper for more information regarding this. The result of the RL training is shown in the fi figure below. Here, the fulfillment ratio is the ratio of customer's service to the total number of customers available. As you can see, the learned agent prioritizes customer delivery and makes sure that all customer demands are met while optionally selling energy back to the grid. The reward function stabilizes after the initial exploration, meaning that the agent has zeroed in on an optimal policy in terms of reward. To test the performance of the different algorithms, we use the Solomon datasets as benchmarks, which are modified to suit our problem setting. To benchmark the performance of our RL agent, we also design a GA meta heuristic to solve this problem. More details of this meta heuristic algorithm are given in our paper. The results of our experiments show two key aspects. First, GA outperforms RL by an average of 19.8% based on the objective function and second rl is faster than ga by 24 times in other words the rl approach finds approximately optimal solutions at a much faster rate than the meta heuristic ga therefore for data sets with higher number of nodes the rl agent can be preferred over the ga this slide shows a comparison between the cost of the milp and ga algorithms for a couple of instances where the, G, where the MILP actually converged. It is clear from the result that GA accuracy is as good as MILP and therefore serves as a good baseline for comparison with the RL algorithms for data sets with higher number of nodes. In conclusion, in this work we present a value-based reinforcement learning approach to solving the electric vehicle routing problem with optional vehicle-to-grid energy supply. From our study, we find that the RL-based solution performs 24 times faster than the GA and MILP baselines, but with a 20% decrease in the solution quality and can be used for datasets with many nodes, which is prevalent in the real world. Thank you.